Hey, Facebook. Hey, hey. All right, I cannot really see too well because I'm outside going for a walk. And I um, wanted to come on and share something with you that's not always the most glamorous side of being an entrepreneur and working for yourself. But nonetheless, it needs to be said. So just want to share some some truths with you. Just want to share with you some of the, you know, not so pretty sides of entrepreneurship, what I mean by that. And then I want to share with you like how to work your way through some of those moments. And then I also have some pretty cool, something pretty cool I'll share with you at the end as well. So just to kind of give you some backstory on um, where this live stream is like how where it originated like how I decided that okay I need to get on Facebook live and have this conversation so um, this morning I woke up well first let me say this let me say this for any of those out there who right now you are an entrepreneur full-time in your business or even if you are working your um, your your business on the side while you're selling your nine-to-five either way you have a business and you have a vision and you have made a commitment right and so i think sometimes we can think about what it is that we desire to do in our business and we get so excited we get excited about the vision we get excited about the possibilities we get excited about you know putting ourselves out there and actually doing something that we really feel good about and um it can be a little disheartening sometimes whenever we come up against, you know, challenges or maybe some setbacks or whatever. And it truly does take commitment, right? It takes true uh, commitment to stick with it. And so, um, and you can look out there right now in the industry and, you know, there's all kinds of entrepreneurs out there right now online. There's coaches, you know, there's business coaches, there's mindset coaches like myself. There are, um, you know, life coaches. There are people out there that coach you on like the technical side of business with all your back, you know, back of house systems and all that. There are relationship coaches. There are, I mean, any coach, personal trainers, there, anything that you need help with, there is a person out there to help you, right? And so um, when you're on the outside looking in at other people's businesses, you know, they can look so beautiful, so polished. Um, everything just looks, you know, all put together, all in its little place. And it looks fabulous, right? And I don't feel like that there's enough talk about, you know, some of the messy side of being in business for yourself. On the business side of it, but also on the personal side of it, because as an entrepreneur, you are your business, right? So um, so that's what I want to share with you this morning. And so I woke up today. Today's Friday. And, you know, I have an affirmation that I say to myself and that I write down that says, I wake up energetic, inspired, and excited about my day, right? Well, <laughs> this past, like, maybe week or so, I haven't been, like, actually waking up like that because I've been dealing with some pain in my back right and at first when it started I was kind of just like uh, oh, okay just a little bit of pain hope you can hear me because this wind's blowing um, just a little bit of pain you know I'll just work through it everything will be fine right well it's not fine because the pain is still there and so today I had to make myself or yesterday I made myself an appointment to see a doctor about it right and so I'm telling you this for a reason, so just bear with me. And so I made an appointment yesterday with the doctor because I'm like, all right, I need to, you know, have my vaccine about whatever, blah, blah, blah. And so today I woke up and I'm like, oh, that pain, there it is again. And I had my mindset that I was going to go to a Bikram yoga class this morning, right? Love yoga. And in my head, I'm thinking, well, yoga, you know, it helps your back, you know, it helps you. you're stretching your muscles and all that good stuff. Well, I got in the car to go and my body was totally rejecting the idea of going to yoga right like my back was spasming you know I was I just wasn't feeling it in my body yet I was like nope I'm going to go anyways because I said I wanted to do it and I'm going to I committed to it and I'm going to go right well about a quarter of the way there I said Kendra listen to yourself listen to your body listen to what you need and I decided to come back home right and so for a split I don't want to say split second but for a few moments when I got back home I was really kind of down on myself because 
I wanted to get my workout in and then I wasn't, you know, feeling, feeling, um, you know, high energy. And so then of course my thoughts started taking me to, oh, well, I just want to go climb on my bed and go to sleep and it's Friday. So I'll just, you know, have a relaxed day. But on the other side of that, I know that I have made a commitment to show up in my business to, you know, do the things that are important to me to continue to take action every single day, right? And so what I want to say to you is on those days where you're just feeling like maybe you're not up to it, maybe um, you don't feel like doing what it is that you need to do, or maybe, you know, your mind wants to do it, but your body is kind of like revolting against you and it's like, nope, I don't want to do it. I want you to pay attention to what you're thinking. I want you to pay attention to your thoughts because that's the one thing that I did today is I tuned into my thoughts and I said, okay, what am I thinking here? And what I was thinking is, you know, oh, here we go again. Or some form of this. I was thinking, you know, here we go again. You know, I've built up some momentum and now this whole thing happens. I don't feel like doing the work and now I'm going to have to start all over again and build my momentum up. Um, I was thinking, you know, all this sucks, you know, I didn't get to do the workout that I wanted to do. I'm not able to, you know, move around like I want to move around. Um, I was thinking about the fact that, you know, I wanted to do a live stream today from my office with my makeup on and look all polished and all that good stuff, which nothing's wrong with that. I love being able, <laughs> you know, to have on my lipstick and my lip gloss and look good on camera or whatever. But, um... That was kind of bothering me, and then I was like, well, and there's other things that I want to do today, like on the back end of business, you know, with my sales funnel and all this stuff. And so all these thoughts were going in my head about, oh, woe is me. This is what I'm not able to do now because of this, right? And then so because of that, I just wanted to just lay there and not do anything. But then I made a choice, and this is where you get to kind of take back that control in those moments where it seems like things are just kind of like you know, going out of control. And this is where you get to make that choice. And so I decided, I said, okay, you've got two options, Kendra. You can either sit here and continue to be what was me and continue to, you know, be pissed off about the fact that you have to wait two more weeks to see a doctor. You could continue to sit here and be mad because you didn't get to go to Bikram uh, yoga class. And, you know, you could sit here and think about all the horrible things that could happen, you know, because you're not able to do some of the things you want to do in your, in the back you know, the back end of your business, blah, blah, blah. Or you can decide to make a choice to do something, right? And so that's what you, that's what you have to get to in those moments is, okay, what can I do right now that will help me get a step closer? See, when you're a driven person, when you are a results oriented person, like I am, when you are somebody who it's like, you've set a vision in your head and you're like, all right, I'm going after it. Anything that appears to slow you down from reaching your goal can completely throw you off course and cause you to sabotage yourself. Because in your mind, you have it set up already. Here's what I'm gonna to do today. And that was me. I had it set up. I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna do my morning routine, I'm gonna do my uh, messaging, and I'm gonna publish my blog to all the different places that I publish it. I'm gonna do a live stream from my office and you know, come up with a topic to talk about. I'm gonna talk about my new program. I'm gonna then go and work on my sales funnel and put you know some pieces of that together. Um, like I had the whole day kind of like worked out, right? So when I got up this morning and this happened, ooh, low battery, and this happened, it kind of just like totally threw me off course and threw me kind of like in a funk, right? And so you've got to make a choice in that moment to say, am I going to keep allowing myself to stay in this funk and not be productive at all, really? Or am I going to make a decision to figure out what I can do and move forward? So what I did is I said, okay, listen, I'm like, I'm going to take some medicine, right? That'll help my back a little bit. It'll help kind of, you know, dull some of the, some of the pain or whatever. And then I'm going to sit here and think about what is it that's really important for me to get done today? What must I do today? How can I take care of myself and make sure that, that, you know, I'm nurturing myself and taking care of myself and not ignoring what's going on with me while at the same time still um, taking some action on what it is that I need to get done, right? And so I sat down and I listed out a few things and I said, okay, right. I'm like, a live stream is very important to me. Writing my blog is very important to me. And talking about my new course is important to me, right? And so that is what I am choosing to focus on today. And forgetting all the rest of the stuff that, yeah, I know needs to get done, but I'm not going to let it completely just ruin my day 
uh, where if I didn't make that choice, I wouldn't be doing anything. I'd be, you know, sitting on the couch, like feeling sorry for myself, um, you know, doing things that aren't that productive, right? And I want you to know this information because every day as an entrepreneur is not always, you know, where you're coloring in the lines and everything works out perfectly. It's not like that all the time. There are going to be days where it's a little bumpy in the road, where it's a little bit of a challenge, and maybe you don't feel like doing some of the things that you know that you need to do, but that's where you get to make a choice and decide whether you're going to allow yourself to stay in that place of, you know, of not... Uh, of not being productive, not doing what you want to do. Hey, Horace. Hello. Of not doing what you want to do. Or you can decide to get in that place of, okay, well, what can I do, right? And so that's what I want you to understand that it's not always pretty, right? It's not always pretty. But you, at the end of the day, get to make the choice, right? And if you pay, atten pay attention to your thoughts, that will really help you that will really dictate what you do next in your actions, right? And so my thoughts earlier this morning were not the best thoughts, right? Like I just was like, man, this sucks. You know, why do I have to be feeling like this? Why do I have to be in this pain? You know, why do I have to, um, why can't I move like I want to? Why can't I go, you know, to this yoga class? Like I really want to go to this yoga class. I could have stayed in that space. Thank you, babe. I could have stayed in that space and I could have wallowed in that and I could have been allowed myself to be in self-pity, but I chose to say, no, what can I do? And so here's another thing for those of you who are driven, who are like, yes, I'm determined. Yes, I'm getting it done. You can't ignore what you need. Okay. You can't do it. So you can sit and ignore the fact that, you know, maybe you're exhausted or you can ignore, ignore the fact that, you know, maybe you just need to rest your body. You can ignore the fact that you need to, you know, rest to take care of yourself. You can ignore the pain. You can ignore all of that, but you can only do it for so long, right? Because then there's going to come a point where your body's going to say, I'm done and you're going to just fall out from exhaustion, right? Or you're going to fall out from, you know, the, the pain is going to be worse than what it needs to be. Where instead, if you can choose to focus on what you need each and every day, right? And tend to yourself and honor that side of you that needs to be nurtured a bit while at the same time taking some action steps towards your vision, you're going to get where you want to go faster. And I think, you know, as a person who is who's a type A personality, who has things in place, and this is what I want, and this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to go after it, you can tend to be so tunnel visioned and so tunnel focused that you forget about the actual human side of yourself, and you, for, you forget that, oh wait, I need to rest a little bit, oh wait, I need to nurture myself a little bit, oh wait, I need to you know, tend to the things within me that are going to help me be and have enough energy to get through what it is that I need to do in my business, right? And so it's not pretty all the time and it's not, and it's not, it's not pretty all the time and it's not always in place. You just have to make the decision to get up and take action every single day, right? And so as I was walking, that's why I decided I'm like, I'm going to do my live stream now. Yeah, because I'm, yeah, I'm not in my office, you know, I don't have on my makeup and, you know, I'm not sweating a little bit because I'm outside, but this is like the real side of, of running a business, right? This is the real stuff. This is the stuff that, you know, many entrepreneurs wouldn't show you about themselves because, you know, they might, they may, they might want to have that appearance of, oh, I've got it all together. Well, here's my thing, you guys, when you're an entrepreneur, when you're in business for yourself, you're human, right? You're not perfect. And nobody says that you are supposed to be perfect. And your audience and your tribe and your clients will love you more for that when they can see that side of you that is just absolutely human, that has a part of her that does still need some work on, right? And it helps people to connect with you more. It helps people to, you know, look at you and say, oh, you know what? She's being open and honest about this. And that, for me personally, is what I want my audience to see in me is a, a, a woman who is, yes, has her everyday, you know, struggles and things that she overcomes but still shows up and does what's important because not only does that serve me right but it also serves and adds value to my audience as well and adds that inspiration and that motivation right and so allow your people allow your tribe allow your audience to see all sides 
of what it's like to be in business, right? Allow them to see those parts of you that maybe you're a little bit nervous for them to see because you're like, oh, I don't know, you know, how they may perceive this. Or I don't know what they may think. Those thoughts right there are going to keep you, are only going to allow you to go to a certain level, right? They're only going to allow you to connect with your audience and your tribe to a certain level. And at the end of the day, that's what we all want. Whether you're, that's what we all want at the end of the day is that connection is to know that, okay, she's doing it. And you know, yeah, she's not hundred percent perfect, but she's doing it. And she's, and she has, and she's creating success for herself every single day, right? You are the example. When you're the person out there and you're speaking to your tribe and your audience, you got to show up as the leader and lead people, you know, by example. That's what it means to be a leader, not to shrink back or not to only put on the rose colored glasses and say, oh, everything's perfect. Everything's perfect. Everything's fine, right? I never have issues. I never have days that I don't feel like doing anything. That's not what it's about. It's showing up as who you are, being open, being transparent, and allowing people to see who you are right and so it's not always going to be easy but it's all a part of the journey all right it's all a part of the journey so no sitting back feeling sorry for yourself instead choose to say what can I do in this moment to serve my higher good okay and before I get off of here let me share this with you breakthrough boot camp you guys is open it is open for registration I'll put the link in the comments um, here in a few moments but if you are at that place where you want to up level, you're ready to go to the next level, you're ready to break through your own BS, you know, you're ready to stop allowing your, your own mess be bigger than what your vision and your dreams are. If you're ready for that, then that's exactly what we're going to do in Breakthrough Bootcamp. So let me break it down for you here quickly because my battery is about to die. So Breakthrough Bootcamp is my seven week intensive. And it's an intensive because you're going to do some work. But it's seven weeks of intentional and empowered um, work to get you clear, to get you on purpose, and to get you into massive action. And what I mean by massive action is getting you into alignment with what it is you should be doing to get you the results that you desire to have in your business and life, right? And so just a brief breakdown of those seven weeks. Week one, we're going to be talking about um, getting clear on your vision and not just the surface level clear of, oh, I want to be happier. Oh, I want to make more money or, you know, I want to start my business. I want to do this. But true clarity in the sense of getting to the root of what it is that motivates you, what it is that you deeply desire, and then branching out from there. Okay, so we're going to be doing a deep dive on that week one. Uh, let's see, week two, we're going to be confronting your inner critic. We're going to be confronting your self-talk. We're going to be looking at the ways in which your inner dialogue is holding you back, right? And we all have that inner dialogue that goes on underneath the surface. And if you're not paying attention to it, then you can allow it to dictate your actions, which at the end of the day is either going to give you what you want or it's going to sabotage you and a lot of us have uh inner dialogue that's sabotaging us we're going to talk about in the third week about releasing uh the principle of release where i'm going to guide you through how to release the crap that's inside of you that you're holding on to for dear life out of safety right so we're going to talk about some of the fears that you're holding on to uh the emotions you're holding on to some of the past experiences that you're holding on to because you're trying to because you want to be right and you know you want to have this validation that yeah i should feel this way we're going to talk about releasing that all right so it can allow you to break through to another level we're going to talk about in week four journaling and people hear that and they think, how the heck is journaling supposed to help me? But let me tell you, journaling is the most amazing practice that really helps you get your ideas and your vision on the paper. It affirms the positive beliefs and thoughts that you're planting in your mind. It helps you to rewire your, your, um, your thought system and your belief system. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that on a day to day basis. I'm going to share with you my practice. I'm going to share with you, um, you know, the, the, the guiding principles behind making journaling work for you at the end of the day it really helps you organize your thoughts it helps you get your your mindset in a um what's in a calibrated way so that you can start your day and really blast off 
and be focused and where you need to go. So we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about money. This is the week that I have added in and we're going to talk about breaking through to money. So not only are we going to be talking about your, you know, your belief systems, your patterns, thoughts, all that good stuff. We're going to be diving into your relationship around money. What's that like? Huh? Do you, what do you do you know what your relationship with money is like right we're going to talk about your belief systems behind money what you learned about money growing up what you need to unlearn now about money as you move forward in your business we're going to be talking about some of the ways in which you're actually repelling money from you based upon what your deeper belief systems and patterns are and then we're going to, at the end of all of this, you guys, we're going to pull it all together and we're going to create a purpose plan, which as you're going through each week, you're pulling together your purpose plan. So at the end of our seven weeks together, you're going to have a customized, clear um, plan on how to move forward. And how to move forward at the pace in which you had been moving through our prior six weeks together, right? So as each week goes by, you're have you're going to have shifts. You're going to have breakthroughs. You're going to have ahas. You're going to have, oh my God, I didn't realize I was doing this. And you're going to be able to recalibrate yourself, right? But by week seven, you're going to have all of these resources together, pulled together, and you're going to be able to then take that into your business and life moving forward and continue to have the breakthroughs and continue to have the, the uh, mindset shifts and energetic shifts that you desire to have, all right? That's all seven weeks for the first five people who um, take the action to sign up. I love people who make decisions quickly, who are fast action takers. There is a bonus for the first five, right? And the bonus is as follows. You're going to get my morning manifestation guidebook coupled with my wake and slay one hour training. Okay. Now my guidebook walks you through creating a morning routine. It gives you resources. It gives you practical guides. My training takes you through literally the mindset and perspective around why you need to have a morning routine you guys some of the most successful and um but some of the most successful people out here in business right now have a morning routine oprah has a morning routine tony robbins has a morning routine right success leaves clues you guys and so with that training with that workbook and that training you're going to be able to develop one for yourself you're also going to get a one-on-one -on -one session with me a breakthrough and alignment session with me where we're going to sit down we're going to talk about whatever you need to talk about whatever crap you need to get through and i'm going to help you break through that and then get into alignment with your business and life and then number three you're going to get my magnetic boss babe training it is a two-hour training you guys that i did where we're going to talk about what you need to do as a businesswoman as as a woman in business and life to magnetize the things to you that you desire to have right we're going to talk about how to shift your energetic state to a state that's going to serve you the best we're going to talk about what you need to be doing to your environment so that it serves you in a way that allows you to get what you desire we're going to talk about how you need to be showing up every day who you need to be we're going to be discussing all of that right to magnetize yourself what does a magnet do a magnet pulls things to to it right so that's all that all that training is about is magnetizing yourself to bring to you and to push you into what it is you desire and that's only for the first five people okay uh, what else? There's also a VIP option if you want to do Breakthrough Bootcamp and have one-on-one -on -one support and guidance and accountability throughout our seven weeks. There's also that option, okay? So you would be crazy to overlook this and think that, oh, I don't need it because we all need it, right? That is the biggest misconception of especially entrepreneurs and, and those that maybe aren't even entrepreneurs is that personal development gets put on the back burner. No, no. You are your business. So if you're working on yourself, it's only automatic that your business and your life is going to grow. Okay. So I'll leave the link in the comments. Um, guys, if you have questions as you're watching this now or as the, or, um, as the replay, leave them in the comments. I'll come back and definitely love to answer them and help you in any way that I can. Okay. So I've got, 8% battery. So I better get off of here. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Uh, what else? Oh, remember, never settle. Your best life, your best business is just on the other side of yes. Keep saying yes to yourself. I'll put the link in the comments. Message me if you have questions or if you want to hop on a call and, uh, and you know, have some more questions about whether Breakthrough Bootcamp is for you. Okay. Love you. Thanks for watching. Bye.